everybody, welcome back. Now we know that you aren't able to come to the aquarium right now, so we're bringing the aquarium to you. Last time we saw some really cool furry friends and Scarlett and I decided that we were going to explore the rest of Utah. So tune in and let's see what we can find. Scarlett is so amazing, look at those fish. Oh my gosh, there's another animal in here. What is, wait a minute, that's Becky. Oh hi. hi. Becky. Hi. Becky is on our freshwater team here at the aquarium. Tell us a little bit about what that means. That means we take care of everything that is in fresh water, so a lot of our native, anything that's found in the fresh water in the South American Hall, and anything up in Asia that's in fresh water, we take care of. And we also take care of a lot of our land animals, like our reptiles and our amphibians. Very, very cool. Now, what animals are you with right now? Oh, right now, I'm with oh, our yeah. desert tortoises. <laughs> so this is our desert tortoise, Walter. And he is just waking up from his brumation. Brumation is like hibernation with mammals, with tortoises and other reptiles, it's brumation. Brumation is they'll wake up every once in a while, or hibernation is they sleep almost the whole time. Very cool. So this guy, he has a lot of things that we can see about him. Famously, his shell. That's an adaptation that he has to protect himself. What's another adaptation that he has to protect himself? Another good adaptation that tortoises have is they're really good at digging. So they live in the desert, but the desert does get too hot for them. Above 110, they don't like it. So they can dig really well, and they'll dig a pretty good hole in the ground so they can go and hide from the sun. And that's also why they'll spend most of their winters in the same hole that they hide from the sun in the summer. So not only do they have a shell to protect themselves, they have the ability to dig. I wish I could protect myself from heat like that sometimes. So you said that you take care of a lot of the animals in this hall. Can you tell us a little bit about the animals? Yeah, so we have a lot of native species in the hall, like our walleye and some of our, we have lots of chub, we got wood ducks. Yeah, that's a lot of amazing animals. There's all this red rock here. This looks a lot like Southern Utah. And it looks like we wrap around, we see some beads over there, and then we finish with the otters, which we just saw last time. Now, it looks like Scarlet is checking out something over there. I'm gonna go meet up with her, but thank you so much for sharing your information with us and showing us this amazing tortoise. Thank you so much, you're welcome. So we just saw some amazing things about the animals here in Utah. And Scarlett pointed out to me that we have these beautiful sandstone rock walls and there's different layers to them. And I think that we should go somewhere that has more layers, like the ocean. There's different layers to the ocean. What do you think, Scarlett? So should we go check out the ocean? Yeah? All right, tune in next time to see us check out the deep sea. We know you guys aren't able to come to the aquarium right now, so we're bringing the aquarium to you. Let's go, Scarlett.